Welcome to Social Studies Samurai. In this video, we'll show you how you can send digital certificates of completion, participation, or achievement very easily using Google Forms and an add-on called Autocrat, along with Google Docs or Google Slides. Think about how you can use certificates in your classroom, your club, your school, or maybe professional development organization. It's pretty straightforward, so let's get started. Okay. First, this is how it works. You will create your certificate in a Google Doc or a single Google Slide. You will also create a Google Form, so you can see this Google Form matches this certificate. You will email the link to this Google Form to the person or people who will fill out the form, which will automatically email them a PDF version of their certificate. But before you do that, there are some things you need to know and things you should do to set up and prepare first. The first thing that you should do is go into Google Drive and create a folder where you're going to have all the documents you need for your certificate. So here I have my Google Doc version of the certificate and I have a Google Slides version of the certificate. We'll talk about that in a moment. Notice here too, I've created another folder where I put PDFs at the end. This is where I'm also going to receive a copy of all the PDFs that people um, have automatically emailed to themselves because I want to see who has and who has not actually received their certificate. Just a reminder, in the Google Apps Launcher, when you're logged into your account, you tap on that and that's where you access Drive and in the top left where you have the plus button that says new this is where you can create your docs or your slides and your google form we'll make the sheet through the google form and we'll show you how to do that in a moment now first you've seen that i've made a google docs version of the certificate you can also do this with a google slide note i only have one single google slide now why would you do this Maybe you want to put an image in the background to have a fancier looking certificate, or maybe you want to get a copy of a, a nice outline of a certificate with the middle left blank, just to look a little more traditional perhaps. Now there are a couple of things I do want to point out. First, here where you've got the angled brackets, you do need those, and the text that you have here is going to match what you put into your Google Form. It's the same thing here for the date. So when I go to make my Google form, now this is the Google form in the, in the construction view. Note here, I've got the email address automatically collected. That's very important. And I've got full name and I've got date. Note on my form that full name, the F and the N are both capitalized and date is also capitalized. However, here is where you have to be careful. You notice with full name, it has these angled brackets, two on either side, and the same thing here with the date. You need to have that in there because it matches to your form where they write their full name and they choose their date and of course their email address. And that means everything will match in the form. They will see the name as they type it and the date that they type in when they get their certificate. There is one more very important thing. Now, you'll notice that in the form, it collects the email address. Now, underneath the date, now if I was to type in the angled brackets and email address here, that doesn't look very good because the email address will show up. I don't want that. So what I do is hide it down here. So let me just, change the color and make the size of that font a little bit bigger. So you can see I actually have the email address there with the two angled brackets on either side. But what I've done is made the font ridiculously small and the same color as my background so that I still have a balanced certificate and the, the form will still record that information that it must have. Now, if you were doing that in a Google slide, well, you could simply just put in a text box, 
you could type in and then go to arrange order send to back and now it won't appear but it is in there and it will get read so now that my certificate is set up when they complete the form their email address is where the PDF will be emailed the name that they choose to type and be seen on the form will appear on the form without the angled brackets and the date will appear as well without the angled brackets. So now what you want to do is go back to your Google form in the construction view and click on the responses tab. And what you want to do is create a spreadsheet. This spreadsheet will be created in the same folder that your certificate is in. So the next thing you want to do is go to the add-ons tab and when you click on that you want to go down to where it says get add-ons maybe you already have autocrat when you click on get add-ons you'll have a box appear and this is the one that you want autocrat if you don't see it appear first simply type autocrat in the search bar and hit enter then you want to either choose to install for every, uh, you know, everyone in your domain or to install individually. I'm just going to go with individual install. Click continue. You're going to have to choose your account, the account that you're working from. Autocrat will want to access a whole bunch of stuff, so click allow. And once it's been installed, you click done, click out. And so now I want to go back to my add-ons tab and I want to choose autocrat and I want to choose open. So I want to click new job. I give it a name, just same as my certificate and I click the blue next button. Now I have to choose my certificate from Google Drive. So I'm going to click from Drive. And my certificate is a, has appeared right here. So I can tap on that and choose select. If it doesn't show up, you can simply paste in the name of it and then do a search. But I've got mine here, so I'll tap it and click select. Wait for that to load. And now I'm ready to go to next. So now what you want to do is make sure that your angled brackets match the data here. All right. It maps to the column. So full name, full name is good. Date and date is good. Email address. That's not matched yet. So I just tap on email address and it is mapped. And now I'm going to click next. Now I'm going to put my file name in just another file name, uh, same one. And I'm going to change the type from Google Docs to PDF because I want a PDF to go to the person who uh, requests their certificate. And just keep it on multiple output mode. Click the blue button next. Now, here I've got certificates big history, but that's not the folder I want the PDFs to go to. I want all the PDFs that are, are generated to come to me so I know who does and does not have a PDF. So I'm going to click yes to remove the folder. And I'm going to choose a folder. And this is why I named that folder Certificates Big History PDF. I mouse over and I can see the name of this one. That's the one that I want. Big History 2020 PDFs. Tap on it. Click Select. That's where all my PDFs will go. Click Next. You don't need to use this, so you can click Next. And you don't need step number seven as well, so click Next. You do want to click yes for shared doc. When you click yes, you'll see it's shared doc as PDF. That's good. Um, you do not want to allow collaborators to reshare, so click no. And down here, this is where you want to put your information for um, the form to read the certificate with those bracketed angled, um, uh, those angled brackets. So there's two ways to do this. You can either type in or tap over 
copy whichever it is, in this case, email address, and then hit the blue bar back and keep going. So this is what you're going to fill in for the email. So here, I want all the responses to come to me. So I want to make sure that I get, uh, you know, some kind of, uh, uh, you know, opportunity for these people to reply to me. You don't actually have to put that in there. And I'm going to put in a subject and a message. So you can see here, I've added the message that is going to be in the email with the PDF. So the subject says, congratulations. And you notice it says, congratulations. And I put the angled brackets full name so that the full name that they enter in the Google form appears here in the email and a little message. Click next. Now you have to activate something called a trigger. So one is needed and the one you want to choose is run on form trigger for your Google form. Click yes and then yes again. And once you've done that, you just have to click the save button. Now note, if you open up this specific spreadsheet, later on you can edit just in case there was a mistake made and you want to find out what it was. And here you just have to click the X and close it up. Now we want to test it out. So let's say I've received this Google form after an event and I want to get my certificate or maybe a student has done something in your class or club and you're going to fill it out yourself for them and just simply put in their email address. I'm going to use my own for now. So the form has been filled out. And so this name and this date should appear in the PDF when the student or the person receives it. They click submit. And you'll note that in my form, I gave them a little signature message at the end that they receive after they submit. Um, I often allow them to submit another response in case they made a mistake with their name, but you might want to limit that to one response in your Google form. So let's see what this looks like in an email. So now we're in my email and we can see that I've actually emailed myself, but uh, Social Studies Samurai would appear or your name would appear to the person receiving it. And it's got the subject that I typed, congratulations. And in the email, note it says, congratulations, Social Studies Samurai, the name that I typed. And here is the PDF. So they can tap on it and you can see the name is in the right place. The date is correct and that email with the angled brackets does not appear because it's actually hiding under here in white. And all they have to do is actually download it and they've got their certificate and they can print it off if they want. And essentially, that's how it works. And if I go back to my spreadsheet, you'll notice that I have all of that information of when and who downloaded it. And I even have a link to my Google Drive folder where their PDF file is. I can simply go back to the folder that I set up in Google Drive. I tap on where my PDFs are and there I can just see that Social Studies Samurai has filled out the form and they've received their PDF certificate. And essentially, that's how it works. Have fun. Thank you for watching the video. If you are a student or a teacher of subjects like history, geography, politics, and economics, you can find more resources on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and on the web at socialstudiesamurai.com. I hope to see you again.